Michael Daraban Jr. was a passenger in a car that crashed violently and split in half. KITV4's Paul Drews shows us the crash comes after police tried to follow a car Daraban was riding in. According to police, just after 7 this morning, a dark gray Honda came racing down this road headed toward Eva. The Honda was traveling at a high rate of speed here on Cunha. According to witnesses, at the intersection of Foot Avenue, a woman driving this white Camry got the green light to turn into Schofield. When she did, the Honda ran the red light and clipped the front of her car. After the initial collision, the black Honda was still going fast enough that when it hit the light pole, it was cut in half. The force of the impact spread glass, debris, and car parts for 100 feet. The severed halves of the car came to rest nearby. While at the base of the intersection's light pole lay the body of a 38-year-old man. The passenger of the Honda was ejected and expired at the scene. For several hours, police closed the southbound lanes of Cunea Road while investigators recovered clues to this crash. In Cunea, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. And it turns out that warrant was for a drug search. Daraban has several criminal convictions in his past, including drugs and abuse of a family member. The drivers of both cars were seriously hurt.